this is Chicho. Welcome to another live stream. And today is July 4th, 2019. And uh, what we're going to do today is uh, take a look at some comic books. It's basically a comic book live stream. And we're going to be recording this as well. Aside from that, uh, for those in the United States, happy 4th of July. For those in Canada, happy late Canada Day. Canada Day was July 1st. Uh, for everyone else, happy, what are we in? Thursday. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're just going to wait until people roll in a little bit. Uh, let me pop out the chat. Where is our pop out? Pop out. Let's pop out the chat. And we're going to use two different angles uh, today. This is the one we're just doing the live stream. We're going to talk. And then once we start doing the, the video, I'm going to show you. I got four short boxes to go through. And this is the angle that we're going to use. And these are the boxes that I got out, right? I just, I spent a day basically going through a third of my collection to uh, pull out some comic books uh, to list on eBay and uh, see if they're set, they'll, see if they're, they'll sell. And uh, for multiple, for multiple reasons, really, sometimes I do this, I go through my collection, part of my collection and sell some comic books generate some funds that i need for either to pay back some debts or buy some equipment or do whatever it is i need to do um the other thing is i wanted to uh, uh what do you call it uh collect some data for the mathematics that we're doing hello so so poach 13 how are you doing happy fourth of july happy fourth of july to you as well curious devin good afternoon how are you doing Kelvin Storm, welcome, welcome to another live stream. Hope you guys are doing well. If you're in the States, I hope you have a nice, uh, nice holiday. I'm assuming it's busy, it's, like it's crazy. I spent one fourth of July in the US and it was insane. There's so much stuff going on, like fireworks and parades and picnics and barbecues and and everything and anything bad thunderstorm just rolled in Virginia oh really there's been a few tornadoes uh, hitting different parts of the world so those are crazy I've seen some video I don't know why but I do this every now and then I really like tornadoes it, I, I don't think I would like it if it was happening in my area but I find tornadoes extremely fascinating very fascinating I've seen a large one close close up when I was a kid and I think that's one of the reasons I found it so fascinating. Just pressure, right? Insane. Thunder and lightning. Weather is amazing. The different types of weather we get and the extreme weathers we get. Just phenomenal, eh? Just phenomenal. I mean, that VA storm. Where are you in uh, Virginia? Oh, you guys are in the same place. Calvin Storm is by your namesake. Pomegranate liqueur with ice and soda. Delicious. Great for a sunny day, hot day. <clears throat> Earthquake in LA this evening. This <laughs> evening. Was there? No, that's not evening yet. <laughs> Martin, are you doing predictions? How are you doing? Have you seen the video of the guy who shot the video of the tornado coming right at him? Uh, there's a few of those. I'm not sure which one. Is it a recent one? There's one, one, one in China that I watched this morning, which was insane. Like it's so close and all the shrapnel is flying past the guy. I think he's sitting in a car. And uh, I'm just hooking up my MP3 or my voice recorder because we're going to shoot this shoot a video of this uh is that it called a monstra oh that's the plant yeah 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 amazing eh this thing <laughs> 
<laughs> That's called the divider. I was like, what? Yeah, this thing's beautiful. It, we came, we moved here, and I looked around the house to see where it would be happy. And I believe this was one of the first plants that I put into this place because I figured it would love it there. And uh, it loves it there. Right? I haven't moved it since placing it like three years ago. Oh, this morning, Martin. Oh, wow. I didn't hear about the earthquake in LA. How big was it? Comic books. Comic books. One man sound. One man sound. Spots. Sp sp Spotsvalen. Spotsvania. Storm. You're in Spotsvania. What is your opinion on uh, legalizing cannabis? Um, 100 percent prohibition needs to end i don't know if it should take the form of legalization decriminalization would be uh ideal which is basically just not on the books the government doesn't have a say in what people do that would be my ideal thing legalization sort of means the government sort of hijacking and taking control of it but it's a step in the right direction ending prohibition Hi Chicho, hope you're okay. Doing good, King. Doing good, King. King Tom. Six point four. That's pretty big, my uh, Martin. Your friend in LA called you. Those uh, they, uh, I have relatives in LA. I've been to LA many, many times. They like. They're used to earthquakes. It's crazy. They like laugh it off to a certain degree, and some have PTSD <laughs> in regards to earthquakes. They're like, no earthquake. I'm like, why are you living in an earthquake zone? Get out if you don't like it. Right? I gotta lock myself in. I need mobility. Let's check it out. Yeah, I finally made it to a stream. Arkansas, how are you doing? What is the country that you want to visit the most? The country that I want to visit the most. Uh, there's been a few over the years uh but for me uh just because of the politics and economics uh and i know some people uh, from there um musicians and artists and stuff like this uh iceland i love what they did during the aftermath of the 2008 scam they put bankers in jail I like the internet freedom uh, that they've introduced. Uh, I love their part pirate party. I love that they're uh, uh, is basically about digital freedom. I love volcanoes. Uh, I don't mind the cold as long as it's not crazy cold. So visit in the summer. I'd love to go to South America, but that's off the books. Uh, but for me to tell you the truth i haven't traveled for a long time so uh, i haven't traveled left british columbia for since 2002 uh, so dr b greetings and blessings iceland is on my list too cool yeah i'd love to like to visit iceland by the way you sound like you're a libertarian uh, I follow certain libertarian tendencies for sure non-interventionalism freedom of speech uh, no censorship uh, uh, sound monetary policy Ron Paul is one of my uh, one of the people that I look up to uh, consistent right how can someone mistake nine uh, infinities multiplied by infinity raised to the power of infinity with one uh how can one mistake that uh, i don't know maybe they don't know mathematics hey chicho chat nicholas how are you doing comic books you're gonna like this <laughs> noxy are you on the political right I, I don't know if i'm on the right or the left i don't i don't follow the uh what do you call it the linear system right and left that doesn't make sense to me uh it's uh, some people on the left 
would love me some people on the left would hate me some people on the right would love me some people on the right would hate me uh, I think that's because they've they're caught up in rhetoric and propaganda personally view my project art for my new book uh, Nikoi uh, no links <laughs> if you're here to post links you got to go find another live stream okay uh, what comic book have we today Nicholas here let me show you the angle uh, why don't we take the political compass test on that I'm not interested in online tests and stuff here let me show the angle I'm gonna do an intro by the way we're gonna shoot the video and then when we're shooting the video I'm probably not gonna be engaging with chat so just a heads up okay so I'll give an introduction and stuff like this uh, okay Nikoi you gotta be uh, Nikoi Nikoi X so we're not sure what you're saying uh, there is no links you're definitely welcome to stay here and participate and have a great time during our live stream but no spamming no ridiculous uh, trolling okay da, 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 da. Uh, as far as the angles oh yeah that's what I was gonna tell you I'll, I'll give you an intro for the video as well so I don't want to make the intro too long for you guys right now so you have to listen to it again uh, hi I just got to ask uh, what kind of tree is that in the background this guy someone mentioned what it was it was uh, I don't know the name it's uh, da -da 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 -da. Sp no that's not it what was it uh, Monst Monstera it sounds like it's a Monstera if we do a search is it a Monstera I gotta learn plant names man <coughs> I know some yeah it's a monstera okay so here's a link to the name monstera <coughs> chicho I listened to the dark knight comic video you made a few years ago about the venom story arc nearly daily <laughs> what are the chances you continue the series uh, I don't want to read a whole series uh, Arkan aside is because uh, I, I like giving a sort of an intro teaser uh, first appearance comic books that uh, you know that are, I find interesting that I want to read like the uh, the horse one I forget what a uh, national velvet and stuff like this I don't want to read the whole series because um, I do you know it's nice when people support creative work right creators and stuff like this uh, so I don't want to be known for covering story arcs where people don't have to um, buy the comic books or continue reading themselves right uh, sort of if you want to call it pirating like I do pirate stuff for sure I do download stuff um, but if I can afford it I do buy them uh, I'm in sort of Hollywood I'm sort of you know I talked about that before comic books when I haven't had enough money uh, to buy comic books uh, I have sampled comic books from online right and then when I had the funds I would go and buy them so uh, and we have so many comic books to read so I don't think I'm going to continue the uh, the Venom storyline from Batman and Venom we're talking about uh, is the drug uh, the Bane uh, uses to get his strength and stuff and it's the first introduction of that Ven of that steroid really that Batman for those of you that know Batman he uses when he um, he failed to save a child's life it's an amazing story arc and it's a uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this arc on the side uh, Batman uh, Legends of the Dark Knight number 16 17 18 19 20 or is it 6 9 10 <laughs> 6 9 uh, 6 8 9 10 I can't remember which one it is I think it's 16 uh, 17 18 19 20 can't do this do I want to sell this plant no absolutely not <laughs> I need one that already got water uh, my sword is sharp today Martin I think we, you might have to <laughs> bring out <laughs> did you vote for Trump and will you vote for Trump I'm in Canada uh, and 
I wouldn't vote for Trump uh, and I didn't vote for Trump uh, if anything I would vote for independence right it's 16 okay cool so 16 17 18 19 20 legends of the dark knight batman legend of fantastic story arc maybe someday arc in aside okay I, i'll never I, I won't dismiss it completely maybe one day we'll read the whole arc okay uh could you show the camera uh around your house to see if there's anything uh that i would like to purchase <laughs> okay on that note the what we're doing today is i'm going to show you some comic books that i'm going to be listing on ebay okay i got two short boxes here my first ever video with with you at 16 i think cool oh was it the legends of the dark knight batman martin that's cool that's one of my favorite batman story arcs ever ever really it's amazing so underrated so underrated okay well, i'll keep it in mind arc in a side just tune in hello everyone lord how are you doing you finally made it one man sad i really enjoy the intros to your comic book readings any chance you will be doing uh videos with more book history oh for sure one man uh, one man sound we got a whole bunch of comic books we're going to be reading i just haven't got around to it we will this summer we're going to start it back up again okay i already picked up the next four that we're going to read and one of them is from a um is a golden age uh war comic that we ended up getting because of a contribution that nicholas sent uh so i know the, the, i've been anxious to read it like waiting to read it the stream basically just began lord so guys let me show you uh the angle that we're going to use so this is the angle here are the comic books okay the video this is the live stream camera right above it is the hd camera that i'm going to record on the lapel mic so what i'm going to do is we're gonna i'm gonna go through and show you guys the these comics okay and uh let me just turn this off for a second so what we're going to do we're going to go through the comics i'm probably not going to be engaging with chat um because I do want to go through these and shoot the video and then after we're done uh, with the comic books I'm not sure if we're gonna get a chance to look at all these four and a half boxes of comics right but what I plan on doing is loading these on slowly on eBay over the next few months just to generate some funds and uh, pay back some debts and acquire some equipment and just upgrade and stuff and see, we'll see how much money this generates and I want to collect the data so we can use it in um, in asmr math linking it up to uh investing personal finance and stuff like this okay batman gets the best story shadow of the bat was good shadow of the bat was fantastic yeah fantastic series gonna take the dog out she really wants to throw the ball around she's uh, giving me the sad eyes uh -huh. i'll be back very soon okay enjoy the walk and i hope your dog enjoys the walk too okay i'm gonna turn off i'm gonna turn on this video i'm gonna turn this off the thing image again. okay and I'm locked in here let me lock myself in here too hey come here you come on and I'll do a little intro turn on the sound I'm gonna open the door and give ourselves a little bit of airflow. Let's see, this is good, this is good. I gotta take off my glasses. Okay, let's put this guy here. This guy's here, that guy's there. Test, test, test. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, let's do a little more. 
move the computer back a little bit. Okay. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book related video. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at hopefully most of what I have here, which is basically four and a half short boxes. And these comics are from my personal collection. And what I did a few days ago was basically go through about a third of my comic book collection and I pull these guys out because what I want to do with these is list these on eBay in the next few months and sell some of these comics whatever ends up selling and it's, it's multifold the reason why we're doing this one of the reasons is I'm gonna raise some money raise some funds take care of some debts some obligations hopefully be able to raise enough either through selling all of these or pulling out more books to be able to get some funds in to do an upgrade to our system the way uh, some of the equipment that we have here that we're using to create this content as well I want to use some of the data in basically the work that we've started regarding personal finance investing and uh, the ASMR math stuff because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the data that we collect from the sale of these books and basically incorporate it into the videos we've been make, making regarding personal finance and take a look at some of the metrics that we can take a look at when you, when it comes to investing in something and you know maybe return on investment and take a look at some of the graphs and uh, you know uh, basically what the price of something has done and how you can take all of that and incorporate it into your life if you're thinking about investing or thinking about creating a budget and uh, managing your finances right uh, all that aside let's take a look at the comic books and uh, just a heads up as well we're live streaming this on twitch as well so after we're finished uh, taking a look at some of these comic books what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to chat and we'll say our goodbyes and load up these videos on BitChute and YouTube after we have finished editing them and put them in order and stuff like this okay Aside from that, let's start off with this box, box, and then we'll slowly I'll make some space. Once we take a look at this one, um, I'll put some of the. Uh, to, you know what? Let's uh, let me pull out some comics from here. Let me pull out these randoms that I've put out here first. That way, we can put these guys out of the way. And one other thing we're gonna do, um, because these are the comics that I have here. Uh, one of the reasons I'm also doing this as well, list, listing these comics on eBay, is if you've been following my comic book videos, you'll know I did some comic book publishing back in the early, early mid, mid 1990s, early to mid 1990s. So people have been asking me, because I've shown some of those comics that I ended up publishing, there was about 14 of them or so, and people have been asking me where they can acquire some of those comics. So I'm gonna be listing some of the comics that I published in my ebay page as well and i'll provide the link in the description of this video to my uh, ebay site ebay uh, account as well okay so that way you know uh, what we're putting up as we start putting those up uh, if you're interested in following this work okay um so let's take a look at those things there's just a bunch of comics handful of comics here that aren't my comic books and the rest of these I'm gonna show you are gonna be mainly the comic books that I published okay so some of these books they're low value some of them are higher value right and uh, I have sold on eBay before I haven't sold comic books on eBay for last time I sold comic books on eBay was back in like 2002 to well, no not about 2000 and yeah two two 2002 to 2004 or so I sold some comic books I buy a certain amount of comic books actually I buy comic books from eBay my comic book hauls uh, can attest to that and I have sold some random stuff over the years on eBay as well right so that account that I have on eBay sort of 
uh, has been with me for a very long time that I buy and sell things on, right? So some of these things are low price, some of them are higher price. And the reason I picked out a you know, nice mishmash of comic books, and these comic books are basically from the 1980s, 90s, 2000s, and 2010s, right? So from the last 40 years. I didn't pick any comic books, uh, if I recall correctly, anything from the 40s, 50s, 60s, or 70s, okay? One of the reasons is the 80s, 90s, 2000s, the 2010s, from the last 40 years, I have, um, uh, most of my collection is from that era. And I have uh, multiple copies of certain issues. So a lot of the books that you, you're gonna see here right now, I have additional copies of, or additional copy of. There's a you know, handful of books here that I don't, they're the only copies that I have that I might end up selling them, okay? Maybe, okay? But the ones that you're gonna see appear first on eBay are the ones that I have additional copies of or additional copy of, okay? And uh, just to give you an example, okay, let me pull these guys out. And I, some of the ones, I might give you some dates on these, if I remember correctly. So here's two books that came out recently, okay? I bought extra copies of these as soon as I found out uh, why <laughs> they were being chased or what was appearing in them, okay? And it's uh, Batman Damned, Brian Azarello. And this is, apologies about the lighting, it was supposed to be cloudy today, but it is sunny. So this is Batman Dam number one, okay. One variant, and here is number two, and this is a Jim Lee cover, okay. And these two I'm gonna be listing on eBay. And these ones should go at a fairly good price. They should go well above $50 each, okay. And the reason is, it's got Batman's junk in there, okay, uncensored. So the editors at uh, DC didn't catch uh, some nudity that was appearing in the comic books here. So I'm gonna list these two guys. I'm not sure if they're gonna come up first or not, okay? Initially, the first books that I'm gonna be listing are the ones that I published under Mermaid Publications, right? And I'll link, um, I'll provide links in the description of this video uh, to a video where you can, we talk about those comics a little bit and we will be talking about them more. Here's another magazine that uh, I pulled out, and it's uh, basically Death of Superman News Time magazine that they put out, okay? Now this doesn't fetch a high price, okay? Uh, it's fairly common, but what I also did was pull out the Doomsday books and the Death of Superman uh, set. So most likely I'm gonna include this with a set of Death of Superman, the first appearance of Doomsday and whatnot, right? I just wanted to pull this out. Here's one that they will fetch a high price. And the odds are I'm not gonna put this up right away. It's gonna take me, like seriously, it's gonna take us a few months to go through these, list these, right? And I'm gonna do them as time allows me to do these, right? Uh, New Mutants, number 98. This is a mint copy. When this came out, I grabbed uh, five copies of these, right? This is one of them. It should be the mint, mint plus copy that I grabbed, and I have it in mylar. So we're gonna put this up. Uh, it's a beautiful copy. I'll definitely open it up just to take a look, make sure there's no flaws in it. So this will be listed there at some point as well. Okay. Let's put this guy here. Here's a couple of books that came out in 2007, I believe. Miracle. Man number one and the variant cover number one and this is Tom King okay and uh, it was a 12 issue mini series and this is fetching a nice price anyway more than what I bought them for which was cover price let me show you these books these are the mermaid books that I published okay I grabbed uh, two set, two of each, right? One of, uh, one set I'm gonna be selling, listing one at a time, and I'm gonna list one with a complete set in there. Okay, so let me put the set together. Okay, 
this, this, this. Okay, here's the first one, which is Google Boy number one. Okay. This is Google Boy number one. Google Boy number two. Google Boy number three. Okay. And this is the ash can of Google Boy. It's the first issue we printed sort of to pass around. And it's uh, the same story as Google Boy number three, but uh, the original artwork, which was rougher than Google Boy number three. Okay. And personally, I'm very proud of this series. Uh, reason being, uh, well, it's claim to fame in my book anyway. And I'm going to list each one individually and as well as set. But this is the first LGBT superhero comic book series ever. Okay. I'm not sure what it's going to fetch. I really don't know. Uh, I sold some of these on eBay uh, back in uh, right at the beginning when I created my eBay page back in 2002, 2003. And a set of these back then was selling for around uh, $36 US. And back then it wasn't, uh, it's a unique, it's a unique story. Uh, back then it wasn't, uh, the collecting industry wasn't as intense as, as, as it is now in terms of paying a premium price for the first appearances of things okay here's another series that i put out which is i for an eye so this is i for an eye number one i for an eye number two i for an eye number three okay and i'm going to list these individually and as a set as well that's one of the main reasons I decided to do this because people were asking me where they could get some of these books and uh, and they're hard to find. They're very low print run, by the way, uh, these books. And I've done a lot of moves since then, so there aren't that many of these uh, that made it with me, unfortunately. Here's another series, Starry Night. It's pretty dark cover, my apologies. If it was cloudy, it'd appear better. Starry Night number two is a post-apocalyptic story arc. An eye for an eye is uh, post-apocalyptic as well, but uh, this is number three. Uh, an eye for an eye is uh, sort of a skater thrasher comic book. Uh, it's got violence and people skateboarding and and what not this is lander lander number one okay and this thing is again post-apocalyptic i love post-apocalyptic story arcs and it's sort of a and this is lander number two okay and again there aren't too many of these around. Very few indeed. Okay. And this thing is about a story arc of a lander, this person here, uh, helping a bunch of refugees escape a city and make their way through the desert. And then this is uh, Mortal Coil Ashcan, which is sort of the first issue of Mortal Coil that we printed at the same time as Google Boy number, the Google Boy Ashcan. And it contains the first issue of uh, Mortal Coil. Okay. So those are the Mermaid comics uh, I'm going to be putting out. Uh, I got some random stuff here. We'll, if we have time, we'll take a look at those as well. But I'll put those aside. Let's take a look at these. Let's take a look at these. Okay. Here, let me pull out make some room here uh, i love my valiant comics right and when these first came out uh, i grabbed a few of these uh, this is the first appearance of bloodshot cameo eternal warrior number four 
Okay. Mint condition or mint plus. I'll call everything mint unless otherwise noted in the description. So that's the first cameo appearance of Bloodshot. Here's the first full appearance of Bloodshot, Rye number zero. Okay. I might add load these on as one set or individual. I think I grabbed a couple copies of each. Okay. Again, mint condition. And here is uh, Eternal Warrior number five, which is a second full appearance of Bloodshot. Okay. Uh, important books from the Valiant universe. So these ones will be listening for sure. I have these. Let me show you this. Uh, boop. This. This. Okay. Infinity Gauntlet. Number one. Okay. We'll list this one. The odds are I'm going to list this. Or I might list this one separately. Uh, Silver Surfer number 50. And we've done a reading of this silver surfer number 15 i believe we flipped through turner uh infinity gauntlet number one in a video right or we might have just read this right so important books i really the silver surfer number 50 uh it's an important book it's a beautiful book really it's a beautiful book i really like this uh the story told in this kicking it up to infinity gauntlet uh, this was one of the best crossovers epics that uh, Marvel put out. Okay. Yeah, there's some number ones. Let's just put these up. Here is uh, New Warriors number one from early 1992. Okay. 92 or 91? No, I have to put my glasses on to read it. Okay, this was a great series, by the way. New Warriors, number one. Fun series to read. Guardians of Galaxy, number one. And the price tag, some of these books, you're going to see price tags on here, okay? Because some of these books in the 1990s, I was collecting and I was selling at the same time as well, right, to feed my hobby. And some of these books uh, were in the boxes I would take to a comic book show. And it, going to conventions and stuff generated enough money for me to buy more comics, right? Sort of investing in my hobby. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy number one and Ghost Rider number one from the early 1990s. This was a fantastic series as well, the first few issues anyway very very fun read okay. here's another one from the same period cable number one now these ones i don't know what they're going for on ebay i just went through my collection and just started pulling stuff out right that i saw multiple copies of or second copy of or i figured i knew i already had copies of so some of these uh might not be sought after but it's a good idea just to list them just because uh, here's a more recent book uh, came out from image comics huck number one mark miller and from what i understand this has been auctioned uh, for a tv show or a movie or something like this so huck number one and here's a variant cover okay. and i grabbed a couple extra copies of these so i don't mind letting these ones go okay these ones let me show you this amazing spider-man let me put this in order uh, where's the other guy some of these things um i haven't ordered them yet the like certain issues that follow this in the set will come up later okay so my apologies if i haven't had time to put them together yet okay amazing spider-man 346 with venom okay nice book i'm assuming this uh, at the time i was selling this thing for eight bucks you can see there right 
uh, I don't know what it's going for now. And it was selling for that much. Okay. Let me show you these ones. Here is Amazing Spider Man 360. This is the first, I don't know if it's the first cameo appearance of uh, Carnage, Cletus. This one, uh, I don't know if it's the, uh, what is it? 359 or 360 is the first uh, cameo appearance. We've done a reading of this. We've gone through this book and you can guess what the next book is coming up. Okay. Amazing Spider-Man 361. Okay, which is the first full appearance of Carnage, and we've done a reading of this fantastic book. When this came out, when I read this issue, I fell in love with it, the character Carnage. And what I ended up doing in the first few days of this book being out, I grabbed some extra copies of this and I went back and I bought all the previous appearances of um, uh, Cletus Cassidy, right? Uh, basically carnage and it was back then it was hard to track down in which issues he was appearing in because there wasn't the internet right you had to ask around and read and follow the little asterisks that they put in comic books telling you which issue links to which issue right so we're definitely going to be selling this and here's 362 okay and as you can tell on the price tag at the time I was selling this for ten dollars right and this is mint condition uh, they're unread I think one I'm pretty sure this isn't the one that we read during the uh, during the what do you call it uh, the reading that we did right so at the time I was selling this for ten dollars right now this book in mint condition is going uh, and that's ten dollars Canadian by the way right now this book is going for I don't know at least fifty sixty dollars US online the set would go probably for over a hundred and this is 362 the second full appearance of carnage okay and I have 363 here somewhere at least a set here's Ghost Rider number five second print with Punisher this was really popular when it first came out. It was a good read. I liked it. I wasn't able to find my Lobo Lazarnia number three and four. So I grabbed number Lobo Lazarnia number two number one. Fantastic read. Right? And number two. I'll put up number one, but maybe I'll put up number two as well. I don't think these are fetching a high price. As far as I'm concerned, they're one of the best miniseries. Uh it's phenomenal that it came out I pulled this out because uh, some of these I'm gonna check the prices later to see if they're fetching a higher price or you know they're going for chump change if they're going for chump change I won't sell them spider Gwen number one more recent of course silk number one again more recent comic Hold this out. I don't know what this is going for. Avengers 360 is the gold foil gimmicky thing. I'll see what this is going for if I end up listing it or not. Here's a reader's copy of Omega Man number three. Just a reader's copy. Okay. It's the first appearance. It's a cameo appearance, but it's, it's the one that fetches the highest price and number five is the first full appearance i believe or number nine or ten is the first full appearance but this is a reader's copy it's it's muffed up and stuff like this so i figured i'd list this just in case someone wants a reader's copy that's what they can afford okay let me show you these here's another infinity gauntlet number one which i'll be listing okay Now take a look at these. These are Superman number 50. It was sort of an anniversary issue, right? Now don't ask me why, but <laughs> I got four copies here, right? Now three of these have the barcode. It's the newsstand version. 
and one of them is just a direct market version you can tell by the box here okay now from what I understand the newsstand version is more rare I don't think these are fetching a high price they're going for fair value like like not very much however from what I understand the barcode one with the second printing fetches a premium price like it's over a hundred dollars sometimes 200 I checked right or I've checked so I don't know if I don't think any of these that I have these oops where is it these three that I have with the barcode I don't think they're second printings okay however on the barcode usually if you look at this thing there's a two if you look at barcodes for comic books there's a two there and two usually indicates a second printing so if this is going to be a second printing i'm going to be listing these um, i don't know if they are or not okay i i was pulling stuff out i wasn't going to dig into dig into things too much so i should put the ah, that's okay here's another ghost rider oh no this is ghost rider number 15 second printing and again this is a gimmick cover one which it glows in the dark okay here's thor number 433 okay it's the first appearance of eric mcmasters i believe uh of that thor and again i haven't checked the prices uh, here's infinity gauntlet i got <laughs> check this out i guess i should put these all together right since we're here here let me organize these guys put these guys back here Logo goes back. These guys go back. What's this one? Those guys. Here we go. So I'm just grabbing what I'm doing. I'm grabbing the Infinity Gauntlet and Silver Surfer because what I did was I pulled out. three infinity gauntlet number ones okay so definitely i'll make one set or maybe two sets and i got three silver surf number fives okay here's a first printing of ghost rider number 15 I might list them together, the second and first printing together, right? Spider Man, let's do Spider Man. Todd McFarlane's Spider Man, number one, silver cover. And uh, most likely I'll list one of these solo by itself, but I'm gonna list one with, uh, I'll show you what I have. I got spawn number eight as well. Here's another copy. Okay. So we've got two copies of the raw Silver Surfer. Oh, I mean Silver Surfer. Uh, silver cover of Spider-Man, Todd McFarlane Spider-Man. Here is uh, Spider-Man number one bagged. Okay. And here is Spider number one, number one silver bagged as well. dollars collector when this came out you couldn't get this for two dollars it was fetching anywhere between five to ten dollars i don't think it's going for that much now i don't know if it is or not let me pull some out from here oh here's a couple other things uh now i hopped on this pretty right away when it first came out monstrous okay i might sell it depending on what the price is going for I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be selling this. I do have extra copies and monstrous number two. Okay. If it's going for a good price, because we're trying to raise funds, I might sell it. Okay. 
here's another silver surfer oh here's the rest of this here we go let me show you this let me put these guys here here's uh wolverine number 41 again this is probably going for like a dollar or something but we'll see here's another silver surfer number 50. I like would, for me if I like a certain issue I buy multiple copies if I really love it I buy multiple copies uh, it doesn't fan out all the time I got multiple copies of certain things that are like <laughs> they're, they're fluff right here's the full set check this out uh, carnage from his first cameo appearances to the third full appearance right I'm going to see how much a set is selling for and how much individuals are selling for, right? Because what you need to do or what I like doing if I'm selling something is I need, I, I want a price check, right? Because I'm selling things, I'm listing things and I want the maximum price for things, right? So let me sh flip through the, show you the covers for these. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 344, first cameo appearance of, um, Uh, Cassidy, <laughs> right? Me and me, Jesus. Amazing Spider Man 345. Amazing Spider Man 346. Amazing Spider Man 347. And this one doesn't have uh, Cletus in it, Cassidy in it. I don't believe so. Amazing Spider Man 359. Up to a year ago, I was able to buy these for a dollar. I think we did one comic book haul where we, you saw one of these things in mint condition that I bought for a dollar, right? And now they're going for much more, much more. 361. Beautiful cover, by the way, this one. People, when this first came out, for some reason, those in the comic book community, the comic shop owners and stuff, they didn't pay too much heed, right? And then here's 363, where Spider-Man and Venom get together and try to defeat Carnage, because Carnage is more powerful than Spider-Man and Venom. Okay. This is part of the set for the Doomsday uh, and it's not here so so it's a cameo appearance of doomsday and we've looked at these comics where basically it's doomsday fist punching through his containing uh, you know his ship I guess that it was contained in uh, on the last page which kicks into doomsday uh, uh, the first full appearance of doomsday in Justice League and Superman number 18 I believe or which one was it? Number 18? I can't remember. I pulled these out. Uh, again, they're part of the Nightfall story arc for Batman. So, Batman number 495. Okay. Batman number 494. And Batman number... Uh, sorry, Detective Comics 661. And this leads up to Bane bra breaking Batman's back. Okay. And I have uh, the full set somewhere in these boxes that I'll probably list together in one shot. Here's another Rye number zero that I'll sell solo or list solo. Maybe I'll sell it, depending on how much it's going for. Uh, important book as far as i'm concerned so if it's not going for the right price maybe we'll list it until later here's harbinger number 10 first appearance of hard hard corpse and this is common okay and two copies we'll see where it takes us here's another nightfall story arc batman uh, detective comics 662 
organizing these things, organizing these things. <laughs> these ones. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Take a look at these. This is Robin 2. Uh, the Joker's Wild. Five variant set. I might just list this just to see what it'll fetch. I don't think it fetches very much. Okay. Maybe. Maybe we'll list it. If it's not worth it, if the shipping ends up being more than what these books go for, then we won't bother listing it. This cover I really like. Mine is the hologram, right? There you go. Joker. And this one didn't have the hologram, it was like a regular edition. And then at the same time when they were releasing these, let me check this out. They released pre-packed stuff for Robin. So here is in bags, Robin number one, all five books. Okay, collector set. Anybody selling anything to you regarding saying collector set? The odds are it's not a collector set. <laughs> Here's a collector set, Robin number two, right? I might put these all together and sell them in one shot. And Robin number three. And it was a good read. It is a good read. But it was way, way overhyped. Right? Yes. Here's another Infinity Gauntlet number one. I grabbed a few of these when it first came out just because I thought it was extremely important. Uh, who knew they were gonna make a whole Marvel universe centered around the Infinity Gauntlet, right? We could hope back in the 90s, we could hope. Here's uh, Ghost Rider number five again, and Ghost Rider number six. This is uh, basically, and I have, Two of the Ghost Rider number six. So I grabbed two Ghost Rider number fives, two Ghost Rider number six. Maybe list these as a set. It's part one and part two. Punisher and Ghost Rider together. Here's the second appearance of uh, Deadpool in X Force number five, number two. Okay, better be number two. Number two. Okay. I might list this with Deadpool or uh, New Mutants ninety eight. I'm not 100 sure. I don't know what this is going for. You could have bought it for nothing a few years ago. Here's New Warriors number one, second print. I don't know what this goes for. I, I don't think very much. Oh, here's these guys. Let's do this. Here's Wolverine, number 41, number 42. I think this is a three-story arc. I couldn't find the rest. Uh, is it a three-parter? It was a good a story arc with Sabretooth. Here's 42. It's Cable, Wolverine, and Sabretooth. Uh, and again, I don't think this fetch is very high, but I'll check it. Because I do wanna, I don't wanna just list hot books. I wanna list books that are. Uh, okay, we won't bother with those ones. Here's the Superman stuff. Superman, Superman, Superman. Here's. I don't wanna call these fluff, but um, they're not gonna fetch a huge price. And I wanna, I wanna go through the other books as well, just to show you what else that might be up there. Here's. Uh, Fan, what, what number is this? Fantastic Four 371, first and second print. All white and all red covers. Okay. Fantastic Four 371. Nice. Here's another Eternal Warrior number four and number five. Oh, 
these ones. Oh yeah, I gotta show you those. I think those lead into one of these books here. I can't remember which one. This is Dracula. Um, the art is by uh, Mike Mag Magnolian. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Hellboy, right? So this is Dracula set uh, number one to four from Tops. I packaged it up at the time. I was selling it for thirty. I don't think it touches thirty. Not even close. I think it goes. At, I don't think it's very expensive. It's pretty cheap. So I might crack this open depending on the price. Uh, Mike Mag Magnola, Roy Thomas is the writer. Mike Magnola is the artist, and John uh, Nie Nyberg, um, I guess doing the inking or the interior arts and whatnot. It was a nice read. Uh, it was fun and let me see this okay let me show you these hulk incredible hulk number 374 okay i think i grabbed 375 somewhere here's 376 Grey Hulk versus the Green Hulk. Okay. You might know where this is leading to. Here is that was three seventy six. Here is three seventy seven. This cover I loved. I grabbed a few copies of this. Okay. So it's an important book. It's the first appearance of uh, Professor Hulk, I believe just hulk more sent a different version of hulk and then here's 378 this is like a santa claus edition this is like dollar bins at most and this one is one of my favorite hulk covers of all time 379 and it's it doesn't fetch a f huge price if if it sells right but i think it's a beautiful cover I really like this cover. It blew me away. Okay. And this is Dave McCann. There's two copies of these. Okay. We'll see what it goes for. So that's the... Ah, oh, this thing buffered again. Here. <laughs> I'd like the Twitch. My camera buffered again. The little thing that you heard. Uh, so I'm going to have to press play again record again okay and i'm gonna do the little intro to it Doop. like this so i can cut it back in again right uh, i'm not sure how much of it we lost or any of it well we would have lost a little bit and we got a couple of copies of this okay so let's put these back put this box away close the windows so uh, the sound doesn't penetrate from the outside and it was supposed to be cloudy today but it's getting a little hot the sun is shining through so let's put these guys here and these guys there cool. okay so let's put this box away and we'll bring in Pull in the other box. Let's have a sip. This is uh, pomegranate liqueur that we made with club soda. Soda, basically, soda water and some ice. A little bit of pomegranate seeds there that you can drink in. What you want? Okay, let's put this guy down. Now, next book. Okay, I'm gonna put these 
guy's away too. Here, let's take this guy. Careful with the dead pool. Careful with the dead pool. Let's put this here. We'll deal with that later. Okay, let's put this over. Let's see what we got. Chimes a little sound. Okay, let's pull these guys out. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is a set. Okay, let me show you these guys as well. Okay. I loved this cover. 379. I don't know why I grabbed so many of them, but here is four copies of Incredible Hulk 379. Okay. I don't think this fetches the high price. <laughs> so we haven't made any funds off this one, right? If we end up selling it, right? If it sells at all. I don't think so. I haven't checked the prices. So Incredible Hulk number 379, four copies. However, we know that the price on these ones has gone up. Incredible Hulk, or the new Incredible Hulk, 375, 377, right? First Professor Hulk, so we'll be listing these. I'll try to put sets together and list it as singles as well. So if we're gonna sell them over a few months, I'm just gonna list one at a time, really, right? Here's Ghost Rider. One, two, three, four, five. First and second print. Oh, we don't have number six. Where's number six? Must have number six somewhere. Here's a Ghost Rider set from the second series, I guess. Number one, actually, number six was in the other box, I believe. Number one to number ten. Okay. I'll check to see how much sets are going for because sets do sell on eBay. And this was a fun series. Really, I really like this series. Number one, we've already looked at. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. First print. Number five, second print, the gold. And this is, yep. I don't know, here's the thing with comic books when you're buying. Back in the day, when you bought your comic books, you actually didn't want the barcode here, right? For me, I like getting barcode as well, but these meant they weren't direct edition there was a new stand edition right so this is a this is ghost Rider number five the new stand edition and then the direct edition would have like either a ghost rider little thing in there in the box or spider-man or something right the second print one doesn't have anything on it i'm not sure uh, why and it looks like it's a jim lee cover by the way Here's Ghost Rider number seven. Ghost number the Ghost Rider number eight. Ghost Rider number nine. And Ghost Rider number ten. Okay. We'll see what we end up doing with those. Here is Iron Man number 281. Okay. And 
Iron Man number 282, first appearance of War Machine. Incredible Hulk, number 393. Here is the Superior Spider-Man Darkest Hour, number 23. This came out in, when did this come out? I don't know, in the 2010s or so. Okay. And for me, it's, you know, it gives me an opportunity. I pull these out. If I saw another copy, the reason I probably pulled this out is because I probably had an extra copy. And I'll take a look online to see if it's going for any type of a legit price or not, right? Here's Harley Quinn number zero from New 52. And Harley Quinn number one. I think these are going for not huge above uh, value. But we'll see. This is funny. I pulled this out. <laughs> Suave logo. Uh, New 52 logo, number one. Nobody liked this. I didn't mind it. Right. But it wasn't the main man. It was a Suave logo. Okay. Here is Thor, number one. female Thor and here's Captain America number 25 who is the new Captain America and this one is uh, I think it's going for like around 20 or something like this this as far as I'm concerned is an extremely undervalued book Justice League 69 this is basically the first full appearance of Doomsday. And the cameo sells for way more than this. And this doesn't really sell that much for that much. Last time I checked anyway, which was a while ago, I guess. And we looked at this during the Doomsday comic book reading, right? Uh, these are Funeral for a Friend I grabbed, uh, just the Death of Superman, because I've grabbed the Death of Superman. I'll try to put a set together. Hopefully there's no gaps from what I grabbed because everything's just random in my boxes I was trying to make a mental note and grabbing some of them so hopefully it'll be there here's a couple of more funeral for a friend funeral for a friend here's the death of superman doomsday okay yeah let's go through this so these guys seem to be legit death of superman and superman man of steel number 18 oh yeah that one okay cool let me show this so all of these are related to Superman or Death of Superman or a Funeral for a Friend, right? So I grabbed a couple of copies of this. When this came out, people were just, seriously, Superman was a big deal. The Death of Superman was a big deal. 76. I don't think they're fetching anything. Uh, but for a set, why not? Death of Superman bagged. Doomsday. I'm in Doomsday, Justice League 69 again. Doomsday, Superman number 74. I'll definitely put together a set for the cameos. Here's uh, Action Comics 663. We saw one already, so here's a couple of more copies with Doomsday punching through the in the last couple of last page. Here's uh, Superman, The Adventures of Superman 497. He's fighting, that's already Doomsday in the fight. This is again cameo, Adventures of Superman 496 with the back page with Doomsday punching through the panels. Uh, Superman number 73, again with the Doomsday punching through. Superman 74, this is already in the Doomsday story arc. Superman Man of Steel number 18. This one is the one that people consider to be the first 
full appearance of Superman, Bahar Doomsday. Right. And then this one fetches the most uh, highest price, I believe. Superman Man of Steel number 17 is the first time where we see at the back uh, page with Doomsday punching through his container. I also air saw uh, yeah, this guy and I try to put together a set of these I don't know if I was able to this is a uh, uh, Ghost Rider uh, Midnight Suns they're poly was this poly bag? yeah this is poly bag and there's a bunch of these they put out as a set in it was a crossover so I grabbed this and I grabbed some other ones I don't know if I can put a full set together if I can I'll list it okay see what happens I also grabbed some stuff uh, books that I thought that I love myself that I either consider to be important or great reads or whatnot this is eternal warrior number six and number seven and I love these covers okay eternal warrior and master dark right this is master dark this is eternal warrior and this is Barry Windsor Smith covers I just I find these covers to be brilliant beautiful you know I'll show them to you one at a time master dark is one of the greatest villains in comic book history very very underrated phenomenal and eternal warrior is eternal warrior fantastic okay. and again I don't think these ones are going for ridiculous amounts or anything at all if they're selling but uh, I thought why not list them as a set again cameo appearance of doomsday punching through the wall or his container right. and here's another doomsday adventures of doomsday with Superman fighting doomsday I wasn't sure what I was pulling when I was going through them uh, so just in case I didn't have I want to put a set together Here's the Spirit of Vengeance, Rise of the Midnight Suns. That's what these guys are about. Here so here's another one, part two of six. So there's six of these. So here's the one we looked at, part one, part two. Hopefully I got part three, four, five, and six pulled. I'm not sure if I do or not. X-Men number four, first appearance of Omega Red. Spider-Man, Spider-Man 26 from McFarland with the holograph cover. Some people will consider some of these to be fluff. Some things that have been fluff in comic books in the past end up being extremely expensive in the future, right? Spider-Man number 17 with the Infinity Gauntlet and Thanos. Nine, seven, five, six, five, four, three. Here we go. Two. Nice. We got two. Cool. And three. Let me put three in here too. Okay, this is McFarland's Spider-Man. Uh, the first ten issues. Okay. So here is uh, Spider-Man number ten. The, a lot of these were ordered so they don't fetch very high price uh, if they sell it all again spider-man number eight. Oh, where's number nine? Oh, here's number nine cool number nine is with Wolverine number eight number seven number six this was pretty cool it was spider-man and hobgoblin with mcfarland drawing it number five number four number 
number three. Number two. And number one. There's a lot of these around. We'll see what they go for. Spawn. Are we talking McFarland? Let's do spawn. Okay, where's spawn? Two, three, nice. Spawn. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Okay, here's spawn number eight. A couple of copies of spawn number eight. Okay. One of these I'm most likely going to list with one of the Spider-Man number ones. Okay, because it's the same pose, right? So if we hold it up, you see. Take a look. Beside each other. And then there's another Spider-Man in the teens that he did the same pose for, I think. It was in the 20s. Someone's into McFarlane and Spider-Man. They might want to grab these. Right. Spawn number eight again. And the rest of this is spawn number eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So it's a full set of spawn from number one to eight. Okay. So I might list this as one set. We'll see if what it's going for. Number seven. Number six. Number five. Number four. Number three. Number two. And spawn number one. And spawn number one was going fairly cheap a few years ago where I checked. Uh, I don't know what it's going for now. Here's Thor uh, three, uh, 432 and 433. I might list these together because I think same story arc introduction of the new Thor cool, 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 cool. okay so here's more Superman funeral for a friend or Superman death of Superman thing so here's funeral for a friend so here's a bunch more and here this one this one's cool. This is Superman number 73 with the cameo appearance of Doomsday, but uh, it's the second print. You can see the two right there. Check it out. Oops. See the two right there? So it's the second print. I'm not sure what the second print's going for. I'm pretty sure it would have had way less print run. Probably. Here's Funeral for a Friend, part seven. Part three. The randoms. I'll try to put a set together. Here's Do uh, Superman number 18. First full appearance of Doomsday. I listed this at... I was selling it for $8 back in the day. Here's number 6. That's not number 6. Number 19. Right. Here's number 18 again. So there's two copies of number 18. That's good. So we've got three copies of this. I know this goes for a higher price, so that's good to have that. Here's Superman number 17, Man of Steel number 17. This one, I think, fetches the highest price. Uh, if I was so inclined, I would send these in to be graded uh, slab because I know they sell for higher when they're slab. But it's just, 
it costs too much and it's very uh, I'm just not into slapping that much and it takes time to get the books back right I might do it I'll look at the price differences that's one thing I'm gonna do when I start listing these things on uh, eBay the first books to go off are gonna be the mermaid comics what I published because those I know what they should go for or what they can go for uh, if they sell it all the gogo -Go boys will sell they should uh, but the rest of them will have to check to price to price them to see what they're going for if they're hot if they're not if they're not i won't list them right amazing spider-man 355 or if they're not selling amazing spider-man 356 and i believe there's a 357 or a 354 i think this was a three-parter with punisher and uh, what do you call it uh night uh moon knight and uh thrasher night thrasher Venom Lethal Protector number one. I know the gold goes for a ridiculous amount of money. This isn't the gold. Oh, God. <laughs> now here's here's another uh, part four of the Rise of the Midnight Suns. I'll put it with these guys so we got three of the six parts I grabbed uh, I try to put together an executioner song uh, this is part 11 I don't know if I was able to this is x-men number 16 okay but I don't know if it's uh, I was able to do it or not <laughs> this thing check this out now Shadowhawk number one right this was one of the first books that image put out when it first came out it sold out I grabbed a few copies and I was going to conventions and I sold them so these ones I was selling for $15 right and I had a whole bunch and I sold a whole bunch and the price of this is nothing now basically right so be careful with what's hot uh, does a huge spike up sometimes they continue stabilize and then continue later on sometimes they drop fast right it's just like anything uh, in regards to the market here's Shadowhawk number two and Shadowhawk, Shadowhawk number three, and this is a glow in the dark. So I might put these up as a set to see if they set, sell or not. And one of the reasons I'm gonna do this slowly is this. When you start listing on eBay, there's a listing fee, or there used to be, last time I sold something was a few years ago. Uh, there used to be uh, a listing fee. This, is, uh, this goes with uh, the first appearance of uh, War Machine so two iron man 284 where tony stark steps out and uh, the other person becomes iron man uh, but what happens when you start listing stuff on ebay when you list a couple of things and then you don't list very much ebay sends you incentives say, saying that oh you can list list the next few comics you know you can list 100 comics or not 100 comics you can do next 25 listings for free and then you end up doing that so that's why I'm, what I'm going to do. That way, uh, you know, it's not costing me extra to list these comics. Hopefully, eBay's still doing that. Here's Lobo number one. Again, Last Zarnian. Beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, Excalibur number one. This is a fantastic series with Chris Claremont. Okay. Madman Adventures number one. Look at this. From Tundra, Jeff Smith. No, not Jeff Smith. Uh, um, oh my God, I forgot his name. Oh, boy. oh we'll look at it later. Um, if I can't remember his name now. Name slips my mind. Cool. And then I got. Uh, a couple of sets of uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, just the different variant covers. Four sets, right? I was selling the four sets uh, together for $10, right? I don't even think they're going for that right now, but I'll see. Uh, 
and uh, possibly list them just to have listing of books where you know if anybody wants to fill runs and whatnot for combined shipping also people uh, might grab some extra copies of things or uh, things that they were meaning to check out that they haven't checked out yet. Uh, so let's put these back. Actually, let's put these back this way. Upside down. Upside down. Upside down. Upside down. Upside down. Let's right side up. Let's put these guys right side up. And every time I do one of these flips, everything's getting out of order again, right? The ones I have more copies of, most likely I'll less list sooner rather than later. thing I did when uh, I was selling things uh, at conventions and stuff I would put things in packs unfortunately I didn't I had a label on this and I took it off most likely this is cloak and dagger uh, first issue and it's got a whole bunch of comics in there I don't know how deep this goes or what's in there I have to crack this open to find out so I grabbed this out of my collection to see this is uh, Magnus Robot Fighter Valiant. And it's, that's in the front. So I'm assuming this is a Magnus run. Hopefully this is a first issue of all the Valiants that came out run. And it has a Harbinger number one in there. But who knows, right? I don't think so. Harbinger number one, I had a few uh, way back in the day and I sold a whole bunch of them, right? Back in the day, I was selling them for like a hundred bucks or something. Now they're like a thousand dollars, right? And honestly, uh, the comic books that I've sold in the past, uh, there's only a handful of comic books where I say, "Oh, I sold them. I got a, that was good. I sold them or whatnot." Most of them, uh, I wish I didn't sell them because I could have got a much higher price now, right? Here's a Spawn set. So this might be spawn one to eight again that I packaged up. So I'll have to check this. Okay, I'll have to crack it open. What do we got? Oh yeah, we can pick this up. We picked this up at a recent comic book haul. This is Dark Wolverine, issue number 85. And it's the variant Iron Man edition. Okay, and it's like mint plus, right? And I think we picked this up for a dollar and I think it's fetching higher, right? So most likely list this. Oh, nice. Okay, check this one out. This is Baseball's Greatest, the Jimmy Purcell story from Dark Horse that came out in the 1990s. I don't think it fetches much, but why not? Baseball lovers. Okay. Infinity Prime, uh, Thanos cover. This is a variant edition. I think it's a one in 10, these ones. One in 10, okay. And this is Infinity Prime, one in 25. Okay. Now I paid $25 for it, Canadian. Most likely I'm gonna list this thing and see what it goes for. I want to check the prices to see uh, what it's selling for right now. Okay. Hilber Brandt variant. Right. Just to collect some data 
to see if it sells to see how much it does sell for right here's venom number three first full appearance of the king of the same symbiotes null canal or null right and here's venom number four the origin so most likely i'll list uh, the venom number three one solo and another one with number three and number four together here's teen titan special number one first appearance of lobo's daughter just in a panel cameo crush Here's Deathstroke, the Terminator, number one, from the 90s. Moon Knight, <laughs> number 19, with Punisher and Spider-Man. I think this is a two-story arc. Hopefully I grabbed number 20. I think it's number 20. No, oh, here's more Fantastic Four. Jeebus. Uh, Fantastic Four, 371 first print, second print, and 350, right? We already see the, saw those, and here's 350. I don't think these are going for anything too special. Conan, number 241, McFarlane cover. Okay. It's a nice cover. The most savage hero of all, Conan. The glare, the glare. Apologies, apologies. World Championship Wrestling, WCW, number one. Silver Surfer, number one. From the 1980s. Here's Wildcats number one and two, Jim Lee's Wildcats number one and two. These are common. A lot of these are common, actually. Here's number two. Number two is a cool cover. Gimme key. Here's Lobo Lazarnian, <laughs> number one again. <laughs> I had extra copies of this. Fantastic book. This is actually the bar code one. I don't know if the bar code one goes for more or not. Okay, here's these guys. Here's some Spider Man. Spider Man. Here's Web of Spider Man 95. It's, uh, I don't think I was able to put the whole Maximum Carnage together, but, uh, or the Spirits of Venom. The Spirits of Venom Part 1, uh, Web of Spider Man 95. Again, I don't think it fetches a any serious price. Here's Maximum Carnage Part Two, uh, Web of Spider-Man 101. I wasn't able to put a, a Maximum Carnage set together. I was trying to, but they're all mixed all over the place. Here's Web of Spider-Man number 100. Web of Spider-Man number 90, the holograph version thing that you get and spectacular spider-man 189 their anniversary i got the there's they put out four books the anniversary edition with the holograph here and i think i grabbed uh, one of each one so i should be able to put a set together i guess i had a few of these thor 433 Here's the Nightfall again. Let's see what we got. Nightfall, Nightfall. There's a Midnight Sun one. Uh, here's the prequel to Nightfall, Batman 491. This was a really good story arc, but actually. Okay. Batman 492. It was really well done. Batman 493.
Batman 494. Detective 661. Batman 495. Uh, Detective 662. So we should be able to put a set of Nightfall story arcs together. I'm not 100% sure if we will or not. Here's Midnight Suns, Morbius. I'm not sure if we had this or not. If I can put the set together, sweet. New Mutants, number 100. First appearance of X-Force. Okay. This was the last issue from this series. And then the second printing of New Mutants number 87. Okay. The first printing, this is the first appearance of Cable. The first printing goes for well into the hundreds or 100 plus, most likely in mint condition. Uh, second printing, I don't know, might fetch a couple of dollars. New Warriors, New Warriors. I like this series. I figured I'd put a set together. Hopefully we did. I don't know if we did or not. Was I able to pull enough out? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. So here's New Warriors number nine. That was number nine. Here's number eight. Here's number seven. Here's number six. Here's number three. Where's four and five? Do we have four and five? Oh, I hope I grab four and five. Otherwise, we can't put a set together. Here's number three. Here's number two. And number one. Okay. Here's Midnight Suns. Rise of the Midnight Suns. What part is this? This is part five. Here's another story arc which was pretty good, but I don't know. What was that? I don't know if we're able to put a whole set together. Uh, Executioner's Song. We had the other ones here somewhere. Uh, here's X Force. Here's Part Eight. X Force Number uh, Seventeen. Which is one thing with the X Factor Number Eighty Four, which is one thing that. People who love the X books, X Men, and whatnot. This is number 84 again. Um, number 85. That we're really disappointed about. They've made X Men movies, right? And three times they're making the Dark Phoenix saga story arc, which is what a waste. They could be telling so many X Men stories that have been told in the comic books and they're just focusing on the dark phoenix and the dark phoenix don't get me wrong is phenomenal uh, fantastic story arc uh, but here's detective 660 but why make three movies of the same story arc where when you could have told multiple stories of some of the other amazing stories that they put out here's justice league 71 okay here's 70 the second print you can see the two there again right and here's justice league number 70 the first print 
funeral for a friend and this was very emotional it was really the doomsday story arc and the, and the funeral for a friend were fantastic if you've never read it get the collected editions or buy the singles and they're really cheap online buy the singles and read them it's very good here's uh wolverines number 13 uh variant cover i don't know if this is a variant cover or whatnot uh, it's this guy here is deadpool uh coming back like wolverines and stuff i don't know where this fits in the whole scheme of things i grabbed it just to see i think i only have one copy of this uh, just to check the price to see what it's going for if it's going for a reasonable amount uh, i will definitely let it go here's another copy of huck number one okay. the story wasn't bad here's pearl uh, this is recent bendes pearl number one right. main cover and here's the white uh, you know blank cover and it's pearl in the background so i might sell these i'm not sure i think these are the only two copies i have depending on the price i know the word came out that uh you know it's in development for a movie and stuff like this so the price might have done a serious peak up if it has then I'll let it go spider getting edge of spider getting number two And these are some recent ones right? predator versus magnus robot fighter number one and number two right? this was fun these are common there should be a lot of these around but as a set number one and number two if someone wants to read a good story with magnus robot fighter and predator it was great fantastic read and barry windsor smith covers right like what a beautiful cover Take a look. fantastic cover yeah. catwoman number 24 first full appearance of joker's daughter i think this just goes for a dollar if it even sells for a dollar which is weird because the comic book community when it came out people were making fun of it they didn't they were like oh jokers are ha 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 it didn't sell for you know the price didn't jump at all or it's jumped maybe a little bit i think it's the first full appearance it's the uh, second appearance first full appearance uh, but it's an important book indie comic book vampire rock from undead graphics might as well put an indie book in there indie books they're scarce right they're harder to find but add a couple copies of this might as well put one in there immortal hulk number 15 we'll see what the price on this is if you watch some of my comic book videos you know i grabbed like five copies of this so i'll put one up if it's going at a reasonable price i think that's a phenomenal hulk cover that is a beautiful hulk cover really let me see if I can get rid of the glare. Beautiful. There's more funeral for a friend, funeral for a friend, funeral for a friend, doomsday, doomsday, Superman, doomsday. Oh, oh, I'm gonna show you these guys. So again, funeral for a friend. I just grabbed whatever I could just to see if I can make a set. And I got caught up in the Superman stuff when it was happening. I bought extra copies of things which I shouldn't have. <laughs> like really <laughs> just because there was so much hype it was like a drug right everybody was going superman chaos uh, frenzy right but these ones i'm glad i grabbed superman man of steel number 18 again superman man of steel number 17 nobody was grabbing these when they came out they grabbed Superman number, Man of Steel number 18 and then they didn't people weren't looking back to see when was the first appearance when 
when was a cameo appearance and justice league number 69 I'll have at least one set of these. Pretty sure we have a set now. Omega Man, Omega Man, Omega Man, Omega Man, and Simpsons. Here, I'll show you the Simpsons first. Uh, special Collector's Edition. Simpsons, comics and stories. Simpsons number one. Okay. It's common. Here's Omega Man number 20. Lobo appearance Omega Man number 19 Lobo appearance Omega Man number 10 Lobo cover and appearance yeah. Omega Man number 9 Lobo appearance and Omega Man number 5 Lobo appearance and I have a good copy not a good copy like grading wise a near mint copy or near mint minus that's probably near mint of Omega Man number three which we haven't seen in this box so it must be in the other box we found one Omega Man number three readers copy but the mint copy must be in the other box that I'll put with this set maybe or sell individually I'm not so sure or list individually anyway we'll see if it sells I might put these up on as just dollar auctions or I might list them because I haven't been selling comics online so I don't have anyone following me that is getting their comic books uh, from me so the odds are I probably won't list them as one dollar 99 cent auctions at first because uh, I buy comic books online I know what certain price certain comics can go for which you can get an amazing deal on right which i have uh, if you've seen some of the comic book hauls we've got some amazing deals on certain books uh, but i'm not a huge seller so and i'm not in a rush so we can wait until we get the right price right price for what we want right in this one. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, sand number. Okay, let's see. Cool, cool. Okay, let's see. Let's pull these guys out first. Okay. Here's spawn number one again. Here is Spider-Man number 35, Maximum Carnage, part four. Here is Spider-Man number 26. Spider-Man 17, Thanos and in Infinity Gauntlet. Spider-Man number seven, McFarland. Spider-Man number, ah, oh, this is where I put them, cool. Here's Spider-Man number one. Uh, the collected, uh, the polybag one, right? And then Spider Man number one, silver. And here is Spawn number eight again. This was a great series. Uh, the Spectre, John Ostrander. Okay, this is Spectre number one. I just glow in the dark cover. Again, it's it's common. So I can't see it fetching a crazy price if it sells at all. But slowly what I want to do is when you're selling items, it's good to have options for people. Right? Just to get traffic if people want. Let me check this out. I'm gonna grab these guys. Am I trying to put an XO man over thing together? Here's executioner songs. 84 85 86 so x factor number it's 84 again i don't think we were able to fill on execution or song number 84 we saw that already 85 and 86 i don't think we're able to grab uh complete a set who knows 
Exo Man of War number seven and number eight. These are common. I'm not sure why I grabbed these, actually. Number eight. We will be doing a reading of Exo Man of War number one. Sandman number eight, the first appearance of death. I might list this, I might not, depending. Okay. And it's it should be near mint condition. Really good copy. Okay. Uh, from what I understand, Neil Gaiman's uh, in talks to produce a Sandman TV series. If that comes out, wow. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Punisher of Warzone, number one. Spider Man, number 17 again. We have like three or four of these. What's going on? Thanos and Infinity Gauntlet. We see. We see what comes of it. Oh, here it is. Cool. Here's Omega Man, number one. Oh, not number one, I recommend number three, right? First appearance of logo and cover too, right? And I paid at the time, I paid five dollars for this. Right? First appearance, logo. That's a really good copy. Cool. An amazing character and Lobo, Omega Man and Lobo. Uh, was a little different than the main man and uh, the last Zarnian. He was more uh, tactical. Uh, his Rise of the Midnight Suns, Darkhold number one. I don't think we're able to put a set to, like this together. I just grabbed whatever of the Rise of the Midnight Suns just to see if I could do it. Here is, here, we'll put this one, you already seen that one. Uh, Dark Hawk number one. Now, this isn't the first appearance. A lot of people think this is the first appearance of Dark Hawk. It's not. Marvel Age, uh, I forget what number it is. Marvel Age is the first appearance of Dark Hawk. It could have been a cameo appearance, but uh, a lot of people consider this to be or think this is the first appearance. There's two copies of it I've got. Okay. We'll see if it goes for anything. Uh, Batman 465 I think this is the first time uh, I think this is Alan Grant and first time uh, what's his name in a Robin costume I forget all the names two copies of it Deathstroke the Terminator number one we'll see this is one of my favorite covers of all time. I thought I'd grab it. Demon number 12. What a brilliant cover. Really. Absolutely brilliant. Bisley. Simon Bisley. What else we got? I got another set of uh, Magnus Predator versus, versus Magnus Robot Fighter. Here's Justice League of America. Oh, another black one. Oh, another. Oh, another one. Oh, another one. Wow, that's cool. Okay, cool. We got a full set here. Nice. Here's another full set of the first appearance of Doomsday. Uh, Superman, Man of Steel, number 17. Okay. Uh, Superman, number 73. Adventures of Superman, number 496. Uh, Action Comics 683 Superman Man of Steel number 18 and Superman 75 the black bag right? and of course when we're doing that this should be always in any doomsday set which is again just to speak 169 okay this was a really good read and this is the first time doomsday was called doomsday booster gold where is he booster gold is the person that gave doomsday his name okay towards the end he goes oh this 
person is like crazy, is killing everything, is like doomsday, right? Something along those lines. <laughs> Seven, 379 again. I really like this cover. I think I grabbed too many of them. Barry Windsor Smith, Weapon X. Marvel Comics Presents. I should have a full set here. Here's uh, Barry Windsor Smith, uh, Wolverine's uh, Weapon X, right? The origin of Weapon X. This is uh, Marvel Comics Presents number 72. There's a couple of, actually, I got three copies of that. Three copies of that. I don't know what it goes for. I'll have to check. Okay. And then the story continued to 73, 74, 75, 76. Where is it? 76, 77, 78. I believe it's, it was the end, 78. And all the covers were Barry Windsor Smith, and they're beautiful. I'll show them to you. Okay. So this was 72. Beautiful cover. Okay. Here's 73. Here's 74. So much glare, so much glare. Here's 75. That's a beautiful cover. 76, again, a beautiful cover. Seventy six, seventy seven. Bring it close so you see. And seventy eight. This should be the last one in this whole story arc. I hope so. If not, then I didn't grab a full set and we don't have one. Or we can't list one. I do have it, but we can't list it. Cool. Glad to have those out. At least those ones were in order. Right? This is, we did a little bit of reading of this, but Magnus Robert Fighter number 13 and number 14. This was a great story. Beautiful artwork. Very unique artwork. That's number 13 and here's number 14. I'll definitely list these two as one story arc. They're, they're fairly common, I guess. They don't fetch a high price. Uh, but the great read here's another story that i really liked okay willis portacio x factor number 63 it's featuring iceman and this was beautiful i really like this x factor 6 63 and x factor 64 it was sort of a two-parter about iceman you know being interested in this girl and then losing out to this this guy here i forget who that is <laughs> uh, but it was good and willis portacio uh, uh, he, he dropped off people's radar a lot uh, i think there was certain issues with family health issues with family and stuff i don't know the logistics of it which is really unfortunate because from what i understand willis portacio was an amazing really nice guy and he did beautiful work i really liked his work his work was phenomenal really i really like his presence in the comic book industry x factor 24 the first appearance of archangel okay x factor number six and number five first full appearance of apocalypse Okay, and I picked this up for a dollar, right, in the bins at the time. <laughs> I don't know what it fetches now. Okay. And X Factor number five, which is the first cameo, word, sort of shadow appearance of Apocalypse. And we've done a reading of these books, I believe, if I remember correctly. We've done a reading of the first appearance of Apocalypse, and it's a good story arc. I forget who the writer was for this. Back in the day, they didn't used to put the artists and the creators and the writers' names on the covers, right? 
Archer and Armstrong, number zero, first appearance of Archer and Armstrong. Very, very underpriced book, in my opinion. Okay, Archer and Armstrong are two of the greatest characters in comic book history, and you can pick this up on the cheap. I believe so, anyway. And Archer and Armstrong, number one. Right, so I might list these uh, together. We'll see. We'll see what it's going for. Here's another uh, two issue arc from Valiant that I really liked. And it was the artwork was Bart Sears. And it was Exo Man of War number 14 and number 15. It's just a two issue uh, story. And Bart Sears artwork. And it was fun. It was basically Exo Man of War and uh, getting together with Turok going out on a dinosaur hunt right fun read and you can get this up on the cheap okay and again from valiant comics uh, shadow man number seven and number eight and this shadow man number seven Shadow Man number eight is the first full appearance of Master Dark, this one, right? But in Shadow Man number seven, it's a cameo, but it's not, it's the shadow and it's the voice of Master Dark talking. So Shadow Man number seven has Shadow uh, Master Dark talking from a car, I believe. And then in number eight, he makes his first full appearance, okay? And I got a couple of sets of these two of each that I might list depending on what it's going for okay. and I grabbed this I don't know why I think I just wanted to show it to you guys uh, this is a great cover as well I like this cover shadow one number 12 and you can pick this up on the cheap if you want right it's master dark I like master dark it's a cool character hard corpse so many hard corpse hard corpse number one Jim Lee fold gate cover this is common you can pick it up on the cheap 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 i don't know if i'll even list it it might not even be worth it oh yeah these okay this one you seen here's uh action comics number 662 where it's two copies i got where superman reveals his identity to lois lane okay fun Wolverine number 50. Let's see what else we got here. Wolverine number 50. Die cut cover. Uh, that's that. Oh, look. Oh, nice. Let me flip these guys. These guys are some couple of extra copies. Look at this. Another Infinity Gauntlet. And here's Infinity War. I might list, list these ones together. Infinity War goes for cheap, I think. I don't know. I haven't checked it wrong. Infinity Gauntlet for sure. You're gonna. It's gonna cost something. Um, okay, Vertigo. Here's a Vertigo. Uh, what's it called? Do, 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 sampler. Extra exclusive Sandman story by a game and blah. So this is Vertigo number one. It was a sampler that came out. Okay. I. I don't think it goes for very much. However, I grabbed one of the first issues of the Vertigo imprint from all the titles that had a Vertigo switched over to the Vertigo imprint. Okay, so let me show you which ones these are. So Vertigo imprint started with the following. I believe Vertigo Sampler was this one was the first one, possibly. Okay. And then as far as the runs, the issues go, the series go, Hellblazer number 63. One of the greatest series of all time, Hellblazer. 300 issues of, I haven't read all of them. I read probably 150 plus, but 300 issues of pure bliss, horror, Scythe, horror, uh, horror, magic, bliss, enigma number one, death, 
the high cost of living number one nice story it was a three issue uh, arc this death Sandman number nine forty seven Dave Mickey and covers Shade the Changing Man number thirty three Animal na Man number fifty seven Doom Patrol number sixty four and Swamp Thing number one twenty nine. Okay. Now, ah, here we go. Here's the I was wondering who this guy was. Here's Amazing Spider Man number three sixty five. It's part of that anniversary editions with uh. The other holograph ones and i believe this is the first appearance of uh, spider-man 2099 okay. what else we got oh yeah jim lee x-men let me show you this and then that's it oh, i'll show you these ones too here i'll show you these ones and then we'll deal with the x-men ah look at this one okay here. here's global paramilitary special number one i think you can get this on the jeep i just grabbed it just in, just in case i might list it I might list it with um, the last Zarnia number one and Lomo Paramilitary Special number one. Here's uh, Cage number one. I think this is like cheap, cheap you can get it for. Cage number two. And uh, Batman New 52 number uh, 40. This is uh, Snyder writing it. Uh, and this should be the first print. Yeah, that's the first part. Okay. Cool cover. And then the last stuff I have here is uh, some Jim Lee X Men with the first appearance of uh, Bishop, right? Uh, oh, 274. Oh, we don't have 274. That's crazy. Oh, I didn't grab a full set then. That's unfortunate okay i'll show you these guys anyway uh uncanny x-men 273 jim lee cover here's 275 gatefold jim lee cover two seventy six two seventy seven This is when Jim Lee, uh, this is Willis Portasio cover, but Jim Lee, I think, took over the writing for this. Uh, here's 281, and these are common, by the way. 280, uh, 281 second print. The difference of this one and this one is the X-Men here. It's got white uh, fill, and the second print has red fill. And then X Men, Uncanny X Men 282 is the first appearance of Bishop. Okay. I grabbed a couple of copies. Actually, three copies. Here's another two. Okay. I don't think this fetches, it's pretty common, so I don't think it fetches too much. Uh, 283 with Bishop again. I'll put these together as a set. Here's a couple of copies 283. And then 284. 285 286 287 and 288 All right and those are the books i picked out from my collection just to slowly over the next few months just a list on eBay we have books that are here that value wise uh, aside from the mermaid the books I have uh, from my comics that I uh, published I don't know what they'll go for uh, 
Uh, I know Gogo Boy is really important. Uh, first LGBT superhero comic book series. Uh, that's pretty important. Uh, I don't know what it's going to go for. It might not fetch anything. I know on eBay I've seen a couple listed for a fair bit. Um, but as far as the other books go, we have books here that might not sell. They're common, you know, 99 cents at best, maybe, right? And we have some books that are into the, you know, 50, 40, 30, 60. And there might be a couple of books here that are above 100. Okay. Uh, more than a couple of books might be above 100. Actually, more than a couple of books that might be above 100. So the price range for these books is going to be anywhere between zero all the way to more than 100. Okay. And we'll see what we ended up, end up selling, the data we end up collecting. And uh, slowly over the next while, a few years maybe, we'll start taking all this data in and incorporating it into ASMR mathematics, personal finance, investing, and take a look at how this plays out and take a look at some of the metrics and stuff like this. And by that time, maybe we'll list more books as well and see, uh, see what, we can, uh, what additional data we can collect okay aside from that uh, I'll have information listed in the description of this video if you're looking for either my eBay site if you're looking for any of the videos that we talked about that we've already shot or any anything else really um, aside from that uh, that's about it I guess uh, the new mutants number 8098 uh, I'm not gonna list this right away I'm gonna list some of the other stuff first uh, just to get the flow get you know go through the process of selling stuff on eBay again because I haven't done it for a few years I just want to make sure you know what other stuff they've added on there and I have to sort of figure out what the shipping is going to be all over the place so we'll do a little sample of sell a few and then figure out what the shipping costs are that way I can get uh, the proper shipping cost in the description of the items on eBay and I'll put disclaimers on there that I'm not a CGC person my rating is my rating and you know feedbacks and all this jazz right just to cover cover our asses because I know some sellers that have been burnt on eBay um, and we don't want to get burnt because we're not a huge seller we don't we can't afford to get burnt all right uh, aside from that I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now hey guys how are you doing how long did this go for what have you been doing here what time is it nice uh, so I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna get back to chat with you guys okay um, I'm pretty sure I saw some comments being <laughs> going forward and I missed I would I read a couple of them at random let me stop this stop this guy and change the angle I'm gonna put these comics back and then untangle myself Detangle myself first. Two hours and 18 minutes. Cool. Thanks, Nicholas. Okay, this guy, this guy. Ugh. Tangled, tangled. Got to go, Chicho. Uh, good night from uh, from me. Uh, sweet dreams, man. Thank you for sticking around this long. It was a long. Uh, <laughs> it was a long video, I guess. A lot of, a lot of comic books coming through, right? tell you the truth I really didn't know what I had grabbed when all was said and done because uh, what do you call it 
I was going through a few boxes. So it's hard to hard to remember what you're pulling out when you're looking at hundreds of comic books, right? right bring the box forward, the computer. So I can read the chat. I'm not even sure how we're still here. Be safe. Was there a fair bit of conversation? Oh wow, somewhat, yes. Somewhat. Cool. Let me put this up. Let me have a little sip of this thing. What do we got? So that's what we got. That's what I decided to pull out of the boxes. Um, basically, almost everything here I have extra copies of. Okay. Some that you saw that I have multiple copies that I picked out. I have additional copies of as well, especially the Infinity Gauntlet stuff and the first appearance of Doomsday and whatnot. These are the ones that I, you know, that I came across that I picked out just to just to list because that's one thing you can do, right? You can buy. Uh, some people frown upon it, which is silly because that's part of the whole industry. If you think something's going to go up in value in the future, there's no problems buying extra copies if you can get your hands on them right like for me on Wednesday if I could have bought extra copies of the last issue of the Walking Dead I would have bought extra copies of the last issue of the Walking Dead but I couldn't because there's only limited number there right have you any idea how much you've invested today oh man I have no idea no idea we're into the tens of thousands most likely thousands like lots lots and keep in mind i've sold in the past too right like i've uh back in the 90s i went to a comic book convention in toronto it was at the time was the largest comic book convention in toronto and it was a weekend long convention right saturday sunday so i took my boxes of comics to the convention i wasn't sure what was you know how I was going to do the value of the books that I had bought that I had paid was probably around it cost me the whole thing including the books that I sold probably cost me around three to four hundred dollars right so three to four hundred dollars of including the booth and travel expense and um, the comic books themselves the physical comic books themselves cost me around three to four hundred dollars i walked out of that weekend with four thousand dollars cash plus two long boxes of comics that i traded with other people one box of those or half a box of those uh, so about let's say well not a half a box let's say about 50 of those comic books were EC comics from the golden age of comics, right? So with a four, three to four hundred dollar investment, I ended up making in one weekend or bringing in about five thousand dollars, right? So I put a lot into comic books, but I've also uh, gone to conventions, sold, took the money and put it back into comic books, right? The one thing that cost me the most for comic books is when I started my own publishing company that took my finances down the toilet <laughs> right? cost me a lot of money in my local place today they were only selling one per person because they were so understocked haha <laughs> that's cool that's glad if you got your hands on a copy right most places there's a lot of comic book stores out there which they won't even sell you a copy if it's super hot they'll just say oh we didn't get enough or whatnot oh we already sold out so the next day the second day you were able to get your hands on a copy that's a good comic store uh silva fantastic comic store they're treating you guys well my mom is an old book dealer the oldest book i saw was printed in 1635 that's cool that's cool booker i b booker book horror i wonder how much that was going for I would love to get into book collecting as well but i don't know it i just know comic book collecting is it new writers and artists you published 
Uh, yeah, they were all independent people. I basically took out an ad in a comic book price guide and that's distributed around the world. And I said, and I was working as a geophysicist, so I had money, right? I was having money coming in and I wanted to stay in the comic book industry. I wanted to be involved with the comic book industry. So I took a full page ad in a price guide and said, uh, send me your comic books. If I like them, I'll publish them. And that's exactly what I did. I published five titles, about 15 comic books total, before I ran out of money. <laughs> I almost called my parents, brothers and friends to get extras. Oh, yeah, man. Silva, why not? If they have extras, grab your friends. Walk in with 20 people. Buy everyone a beer. Tell them this. You, sh you, could, you could tell them this, right? Everybody come down. I want you to buy a comic book for me. I'm going to give you the money. And then afterwards, you're going to give me those comic books. And we're going to go out to a pub. And I'm going to buy you a beer each. So each comic book is going to cost you $10. Right? I don't know where you are. In Canada, it would cost you $10. Right? The comic book plus a beer. So $10 Canadian. And right now, that comic book is selling on eBay between $25 to $45. You've already doubled tripled your money why wouldn't you do it right if you have good family and friends that will do this for you that are willing to have a beer with you right how would you rate the success of your own comic company poor <laughs> very poor however 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 See these four books here the first lgbt superhero comic book series ever go go boy number one go go boy number two go go boy number three right and go go boy number or ashcan right Diamond Comics refused to carry this. I contacted LGBT uh, bookstores and had them order directly from me in their bookstores. This was so popular within the LGBT community. There was a club, LGBT club in Denver, that threw party for us to go down there and hosted us and had a costume party, cosplay party, right? But the comic book industry, diamond distributors, didn't carry it, right? So financially, how successful was my comic book company? Not very. However, an important run. Very proud. As well as the other books that I published. There's only one book that I'm not... I just released it because I, we had a deadline to meet. Although it would look suspicious having seven to eight people all going one after another, getting the extra thing, just stand outside, give them five bucks, tell them to go and grab it. Can you show us them? Yeah, yeah I showed you Ron Berger. I showed you, I showed the books earlier, but I will. Uh, I just noticed the liquor bottle collection you've got stored up there. Actually, those aren't liquor bottles. Those are kombucha bottles. When I used to drink, uh, heavyish I guess in my youth we did do this with liquor bottles but all of those are actually kombucha bottles <laughs> in my old days you stop drinking spirits or reduce it right are you on their chicho on eBay I am Martin here let me give you the link I don't have anything listed it might it's gonna take me a little bit of time to list stuff man but here let me give you the link uh, Where am I? What's going on? Okay, hold on. Where is my eBay? My eBay. My eBay summary. Yeah, I don't have anything listed, so I don't even know how this is going to work if I link it to you. Oh, yeah, here, I can link it this way. User Chicho. Chew. 
I've been on their eBay for since 2002. I got a hundred hundred percent feedback writing a uh, rating, five stars across the board, right? Uh, so it's important to me. Uh, how do you always end up in the same stream as me? <laughs> oh, is that the person, Doctor P? How are you doing? I was thinking the same uh, stream stalker. I think he is. Da, 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 da. Success isn't always measured by profit. No, no. Happiness and fulfillment is above currency and opinion. Yeah, and the experience I got from publishing comic books, uh, Kesbaum, priceless, priceless. It set me on the motion to be here right now doing this, right? It was extremely important. It cost me a lot of money. I was paying that back for many many years right however well worth it well worth it i would do it again if i was to do it again right how do you deal with the ever lingering fact of collecting too much buyer's remorse that eventually selling again it's part of the game uh i bought stuff where i'm like oh man i can't believe i bought these right and i've sold stuff where i'm like oh man i can't believe i sold those and then when I look at it, it averages out. When I look look at the collection over the years, I go, wow, that's cool, man. I still have like three copies of Harbinger number one. Oh, wow, man, I have Hulk 377, multiple copies that I can sell. Oh, wow, man, I got Infinity Gauntlet number one. I don't know how many we pulled out here, like, I don't know, five, six copies, and I still have more, right? So those are books that you can't win on every bet you can't make the right decision on every buy and every sell but as long as you're enjoying it you're appreciating it you do man kombucha if you drink then it's more fun to do it heavy <laughs> otherwise one could stay just over uh i be booker uh, drinking in your youth your body recoups faster as you get older reduce your drinking it's gonna hurt you has donated 10 pounds keep up the good work oh, okay thank you very much for the donation cat man i appreciate it ski bob ski bob bob's cat man ski bob's cat man thank you for the support brother or sister okay uh, but moderation is key yeah heavy isn't necessary no it's not if it works for you then i'm jealous it'll work for you at some point as well just keep that in mind alcohol is uh, is a great destroyer so you don't want to be destroying your whole life i remember you used to have spider-man 7 a long time ago but sold yeah arcan aside do you know how much i sold spider-man 7 for i bought it for like eight dollars right a couple of two three four years later i sold it spider-man number seven i sold it for 45. <laughs> right now it's probably worth like 600 the copy that i had right so yeah i regret selling it i regret selling the harbinger number ones that i had back in the 90s i sold them all for a hundred right and then the price peaked to a hundred and then it dropped down to where you could pick it up for like ten dollars eight dollars right I had like 15 copies of Harbinger number one. I love the series, all the Valiants, and I bought like anywhere between five to 10, 15 copies of all pre-Unity Valiants, right? And I sold a lot of them. At the time, I sold them for 100, and people were like, oh my God, you rip people off. I go, no, man, this is an amazing book. And then price dropped, and people are like, oh, you... I'm like, man, the price dropped. That was the price going at the time now the copies that i sold harbinger number one they're a thousand dollars right did i make the right choice back in the 90s when i sold them i bought other comic books so maybe i sold before it dropped i should have bought back again but i didn't because i still had my three copies left right or two copies left there's always it's 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 part of the game you should you just have to enjoy it what because you keep following the <laughs> i almost started writing a book let's say about three quarters 
a year ago plan was to add things over the span of 10 years to document the change in society world and politics etc so I'd have something to read back on when I'm older and see how different things are um, Silva good idea but what you can start doing is blogging right share what you see your thoughts online open to people because what happens that way is you're giving people your perspective you're sharing your information and you're getting feedback from people so once you start getting feedback from people both positive and negative you can improve your writing right that's what I did to improve my writing when I started blogging uh, highly recommend but you have to have a thick skin you're gonna get criticized people are gonna trash talk you man really they're gonna trash talk you right I was asking about kombucha what is camp oh kombucha kombucha is uh, it's something called a scoby it's, an, uh, it's, it's something that's alive that you put it into uh, you feed it sugar and it ferment uh, ferments and it's really good for the tummy it's got a lot of good bacteria microbes for your tummy for your body it's fizzy it's carbonate it gets carbonated right it's very delicious look it up find one in your area and see if you like the taste okay we were uh, talking earlier about spider-man number one or seven that you had or could have bought yeah it was seven mark yeah I could have bought spider-man number one but I couldn't get the money I was in school right it was like fourteen hundred dollars or something I put out a video on that Martin right where I could have bought spider-man number one for fourteen hundred dollars and I asked relatives you know that had money at the time if I could borrow the money to buy this book and they asked me what it was I wanted for and I told them to buy spider-man number one a comic book and they all laughed at me and said no uh, and then I bring it up the relatives that I still see I bring it up with them every now and then telling them that hey remember that amazing spider-man number one the comic book that I asked you for fourteen hundred dollars if, if you would give me the money so I could buy it and they go yeah yeah I go you know how much it's selling for now it's like th that grade would be selling for like 60 grand or 80 grand right and they're like what what I'm like it is what it is right I had my first three-day hangover the other week so for sure I'm getting old listen to Chicho drinking only gets harder it gets harder yeah alcohol quite quite uh, and primitive drug what is spider-man so, so expensive now is spider-man number seven it's expensive uh, at least you made a profit in selling it yeah yeah ex agree that's the way I look at it and I had a fantastic time doing it Arkan aside when characters are popular and popular culture the comics go up in value period yeah I can drink more now than 20 years ago Time for more alcohol control. <laughs> uh, Martin, be careful, bro. Brother, be careful. Alcohol, you'll do fine. You'll do fine. You'll do fine. All of a sudden, when the effects of alcohol start kicking in, recouping is difficult. Be careful, brother. Okay. here I'm gonna I'm gonna ban somebody ban somebody has someone banned them already Doosh. this was deleted by a mod deleted 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 timed out timed out Martin I'm banning them ban boing Chicho banned had to be done thank you for taking care of business uh, Martin carbonate drink is kvass I don't know what kvass is well that's new to me yeah for sure check it out man it's del can which is delicious kvass I don't know what kvass is I forgot to tell you Chicho remember I said I tried your cuckoo recipe yeah 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 Nicholas for your girl I think you said you for your girl or something well I had my mom around for dinner tonight 
and made it for her she loved it then i showed her the the start of this stream ah nice i have been um with working out like mad since i came back from my travels and both yesterday and today i've eaten like a pig and man does my body hate me right now <laughs> gorging is mad gorging is hard on the body man i don't gorge anymore but i'm so glad your mom liked the like like the cuckoo awesome or love the cuckoo fantastic and that means you're doing a great job making it right so delicious so delicious yeah booze takes a big part out of you i'm a boozer but i recognize this uh just on the boozing part brother um who was it that writer um barfly the person who wrote barfly he recognizes as well and he said he stopped drinking hard booze at some point and moved to wine and he said by just moving changing his drink to wine he was able to live five years longer right he still died early but he was able to live five years longer younger so uh just timed out thanks martin i banned one of them uh good job troll extermination squad <laughs> cool i would drink every night for five nights straight you must be like 18 19 years old chicho man is like a hulk smash <laughs> I used to be able to drink and go out uh, any day throughout the week and go into work the next day fine for uh, from 18 to 22 then I got the most horrific hangover once and it ruined me yeah now I'm 24 and take it uh, it takes a good couple of days to get back to normal that was the moment I knew I was no longer invincible yeah and you lived through that Silva a lot of youth when they find out they're invincible uh, sometimes those moments take them out of the game or affect them in a way where they're totally destroyed for the rest of their lives you're santa i could be i had a good teacher followed the vid as best as i could she's even going to add it to her cookbook <laughs> nice awesome nicholas that makes me happy feeding people makes me happy man feeding people through the cooking videos makes me super happy man that's fantastic i tried to drink wine but the outcome was i finished uh three liter pack in a day oh that's not good man you're drinking too much i have to sack someone today first time in your oh no well think about this way you're you're telling them that they're they're not cut off for the job and hopefully moving them towards a better job yes i'm 18 you guessed it right yeah it was a social media reason oh no they're silly people they posted private stuff on social media what well, people are dinglings man not not in like we're doing something that's very intimate personal private to a certain degree right but when they do that kind of stuff for work where is the logic in that that couldn't have been uh, easy christian i hate that part of my job yeah that's unfortunate fortunately for me i've never had to let anyone go i've never been in that situation uh, don't want the power chicho you probably won't believe this but i'm literally scrubbing a toilet with my laptop and the bathroom sink <laughs> i can assign a letter don't drop the laptop in the toilet <laughs> too funny so what's the most you've made on a comic and the most you've spent on one i've spent a few hundred dollars on comics for sure and i made a few hundred dollars on comics like I, I play in my ballpark that's my ballpark like a few hundred dollars is a lot for me right so i play in my ballpark i haven't gone into the thousands yet uh, at some point maybe right I have owned several companies but never actually let anyone go either cool have told other people <laughs> <that's only go. laughs> what's the rarest one you have at the moment the rarest one I think uh, as far as comic book goes is uh, Jackie Gleason and the honeymooners number 12 we've done a reading of it if you go Chicho uh, Jackie Gleason and the honeymooners uh, 
comic book reading or Jackie comic book reading Chicho you'll find that as far as I know there's anywhere between 50 to 100 of those or 20 to 50 of those comics around I lost the bidding on one of them which was graded at seven slab I didn't have the money at the time went for a hundred like fifty bucks which is chunk change for that comic book uh, I would have paid if I had the money I would have paid easily three hundred fifty dollars for it right but at the time that was my limit right that's where we are fun gang how long is this stream? we've been up for like three hours almost now no fun that was a good stream I really wanted to do this and I told people a long time ago that I was gonna do this random question Shuto, what's the best way to oops update <laughs> get dry toothpaste out of a sink um scrub away man scrub away up time up time Boop. there we go almost three hours gang okay let's call this a stream let's call this a stream yeah we call this stream thanks very much for being here gang i hope you enjoyed it uh, I hope you enjoyed the comics. Hopefully the glare wasn't too much and you were able to see the stuff. When is kebab time? As soon as we get a barbecue. We still don't have a barbecue. We're going to go out and buy a barbecue. Uh, as soon as we get a barbecue, uh, I might christen it with a live stream of a kebab. I'm not 100% sure. We might get a barbecue and try it out and then do do one. But we will do a, we will do a kebab live stream, most likely 99% sure this year this summer uh, okay but f there'll be it'll be a double stream one of them will be pre prepping the kebabs because you have to let them sit for a day at least and then the next day we'll do the barbecue and feast okay all right can I say good night chicho so glad i finally made one awesome glad to have you along i can decide silva action comics first edition published in 1938 is worth uh imagine having that comic hidden somewhere haha ha, I wish I wish and I think it's sold for uh, the last one I checked was sold for three million right ciao ciao thanks you show my pleasure Nicholas I hate kebab four times I need kebab four times this week nice I'm a chef remember Martin you're gonna love my kebab recipes you're gonna love my kebab recipes Ankma, good stream thanks man thanks man okay gang hope you guys have a fantastic next few days and i'll try to announce the next set of streams on the weekend and we're going to do them next week okay i'm going to go and try to edit some videos and stuff we'll talk later catch you later sir you take care you too you too bye everyone eduardo oh no we'll catch you on the next stream brother bye